Hi foodies and welcome to my kitchen. This is Jenny here from Jenny's Walk and today foodies I'm going to be doing a lovely vegetarian dish for you today. I'm going to be making that signature dish dal and rice and bhaji. But the bhaji I'll be using today I'll be using those now lovely spinach bhaji or it's just spinach. Total vegetarian today. So here I have my big bowl of spinach. I soak it in baking soda, give it a good flush like three, four times, chop some uh, cilantro and some scallion as you can see all put it in there really lovely and nice with some great flavorings so let's move over to the pot now my dear foodies in here is my dal dal or yellow split peas what I did I went ahead and I give it a good soak for two hours now to this what I want to add in here I have sugar let me let you see that well that's sugar that is my Himalayan pink salt some coriander and cumin and this is my hing or asafoetus. I'm going to add that in really nicely just like so and in here I have my garlic onion and a few pieces of that uh, jalapeno pepper for a little heat and I'm going to leave that to boil in there and this my dear foodies is dried chilies this is a uh, Kashmir chilies I'm going to leave the link where you can get all this stuff I'm just going to drop one in there that is no heat just lots of flavors and no heat and our turmeric this is turmeric or haldi I'm going to leave the link also for you where you can purchase this is total organic I'm going to add a little bit this is what's going to give a lovely earthy flavor quarter teaspoonful and if we should need more we will add as we go along earthy flavor and it's going to give that uh, split piece it's lovely yellow bright color so let's raise some heat on that pot we're going to leave it halfway cover because it's going to bubble and flow over I'm also going to leave the link where you could get these lovely pots in Amazon just get in there take a look and do all your shopping right in Jenny's walk at Amazon so in my pot my lovely big pot here I already add in my oil I'm using cocoa road organic coconut oil and to this I'm going to add my onions I give it a great big chop here I have my garlic and that jalapeno peppers I do not want to melt this down too much because I want the big and crunchiness a little bit of the onions in this dish and this is just those jalapeno which is just great flavors and no heat add that on in there put this lid back on raise the heat and I have my ginger garlic paste I'm going to be adding so let's give this a good two minutes and we will be right back Ready? Okay, foodies, so I like the way this look. I do not want it to wither away too much. I want this little crunch just like so. So now to this, I'm going to eyeball a tablespoonful of ginger garlic paste and just infuse that in there. Just for a quick 30 seconds, not too much. Lovely recipe here from Jenny's Walk. And my dear foodies, you can send me stars. Each star is one penny. Just get into the link at the bottom of the vid you will see where it says give stars you press that and you follow the instructions there and it will show to you how to give stars as some of my foodies were telling me Jenny I want to send you stars but I do not know how to do it so that is how you do it my dear foodies so now let's put our spinach in so the spinach is going to wither away really nicely so we're going to go a little at a time so that's the cilantro in there and our scallion and to this I'm going to add a little vegetable base okay and this looks marvelous lovely so we're just going to lower the heat and put the lid on and just wait until this wither down really nicely so foodies let's take a look and see what's going on inside the pot now everything should be all withered in there you go marvelous really with it nicely so here I have my vegetable seasoning that I'm gonna add I'm gonna leave it in the link there for you and my dear foodies I have a little secret here to share with you this my dear foodie is kashuri methi which is the leaf of the methi or the fennel Greek this is very good for diabetics and um, for to control your sugar level and it's also good for um, heart disease so I usually use this I use it a lot actually because of my cholesterol so here I have one teaspoonful you just give it a little crush just like so 
you don't want to put too much because it could be very pungent because as you know that fennel greek is very bitter and pungent so you just want to put a little bit there and in goes a little bit of that himalayan pink salt and i'm going to be leaving the link for everyone at the top right under the recipe so now give it a good mix i'm going to raise that heat up now from low to medium high and you see it let all that water off on its own if you wish to add pumpkin grated pumpkin go ahead grated carrots go ahead all of that is really lovely even tomato dice some lovely cherry tomato or plum tomato so i'm going to let this cook down a little bit and then we're going to taste to see the salt or the flavorings or whatever it needs lovely dish here from jenny's walk so don't forget to like and share and subscribe to my youtube channel and you could share check into the link where you could find all my products on amazon click on the product click on the link and you could go ahead and start shopping there and let's take a look at the doll on this side the doll looks really good starting to boil really nicely softening up really lovely so i'm going to continue boiling it on low heat before i start swizzling it and my dear foodies you can send me stars it's just simple and easy right at the top you will see all the links and at the bottom where you will see the comments right give stars my foodies were asking jenny how to send you stars just click on give stars and it will give you all the information and instructions how to go ahead doing it lovely dish here from jenny's walk so let's wait a little bit and continue cooking so foodies this is a dal goatney long ago we used to call it i used to say this is my sunflowers <laughs> so now let's get into the doll right in here and give it a good little swizzle slowly you're going to swizzle back and forth back and forth because you want to get a creamy goodness here so this is not just ready as you can see so i'm going to let it continue boiling and then we're going to swizzle away so there you go foodies this is all done so i'm going to turn the heat off and we're just going to wait now until lovely look at that really beautiful i tasted it for salt there's enough salt there's enough flavorings and everything here in this spinach so back to the dal now or split peas in the back i'm um, going to give it a little more boiling because it's still not ready yet those grains so i'm going to give it a good little swizzle in a little bit okay foodies it's time to chunky <laughs> meaning we're going to infuse some lovely uh, garlic spice and some cumin seed into the dal so here i have some roasted garlic and this is the dal got a good nice swizzle there so half and half the quarter and quarter is a half a teaspoonful of cumin powder i'm going to let that slowly come to a boil back up in there this is all creamy and nice as you can see really lovely dal over here so over here now take a look i'm going to put this into the link where you could buy this little thing as we will say is a cultural but it's a little different it takes that heat away from your hands and all of that so let me raise the heat up it has a nice little handle where you could rest comfortably with no moving or shaking so you wouldn't have all a disaster with the oil falling off or your hand getting burns with the heat trying to chunky your dal so this is going to get a nice brown or dark black color whatever color you like and we're going to chunky the dal so our dal will be done so this color pleases me my dear foodies so i'm just going to take my little thing up it's it's um heat proof too so you don't get burned simultaneously covering the pot and immersing all that lovely stuff in there so you just put that in there and then you continue now using your spoon so this little apparatus did a great job okay foodies that lovely vegetarian dish lovely meatless eggless dish here for you dal and rice and bhaji it's a signature dish in the island of trinidad and tobago as we say it's poor people food but hey that's not poor people food now that's the food we're looking for. So come on in and let's take a look now what we did here. Jenny's Walk did that lovely dal that we cooked there and infused with all those puran, pucha puran or whatever the name is, my dear, with the cumin seeds and all of that. Our spinach and our white rice and a little Kashmir pepper on the side. And here, my dear foodies, is the chalta anchar. You could look in the page and you will see where that chalta anchar how I've made that step by step. So I'm going to dig in now. I'm going to take my fingers. And I'm, I like my doll all around my rice. You know, I like to flood my doll out. <laughs> flood up the rice with all the doll. 
We're using the fingers. You see, take the fingers, roll it up like this, and we're going to get that food. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Wow. Do I have to finish this video? <laughs> this is awesome. The chalta ancha, lovely flavor in there. The dal, all the cumin. You taste all that lovely burnt garlic in there. Lovely, divine. And my dear foodies, you know you have to take the fibrous part out of the chalta. So that's the part you're taking out. And that spinach is not overcooked. You see how it's still very green. So you have all that nutritional value there in it. One more for Jenny's walk. I'm having a Jenny's moment now. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Really lovely. And the rice is also on the page. You could take a look and see how to put that lovely white rice together. Divine dish here. You could enjoy a big cup of dal just as it is. It's very filling. You could eat the white rice with the spinach only if you wish for that and don't like the dal. Lovely dish here. Thank you for joining me. From my kitchen to your kitchen. Happy cooking.